Chapter One of the Money Moon. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by John Leader. The Money Moon, a Romance, by Jeffrey Farnell. Chapter One. To Jennifer, the one and only, whose unswerving faith was an inspiration, whose generosity is a byword. This book is dedicated as a mark of gratitude and affection. Geoffrey Farnell, February 10, 1910. Chapter 1, which being the first, is very properly the shortest chapter in the book. When Sylvia Marchmont went to Europe, George Bellew, being at the same time desirous of testing his newest acquired yacht, followed her, and mutual friends in New York, Newport, and elsewhere confidently awaited news of their engagement. Great, therefore, was their surprise when they learnt of her approaching marriage to the Duke of Ride. Bellew, being young and rich, had many friends, very naturally, who, while they sympathized with his loss, yet agreed among themselves that, despite Bellew's millions, Sylvia had done vastly well for herself, seeing that a duke is always a duke, especially in America. There were also divers ladies in New York, Newport, and elsewhere, and celebrated for their palatial homes, their jewels, and their daughters, who were anxious to know how Bellew would comport himself under his disappointment. Some leaned to the idea that he would immediately blow his brains out. Others opined that he would promptly set off on another of his exploring expeditions and get himself torn to pieces by lions and tigers or devoured by alligators while others again feared greatly that, in a fit of pique, he would marry some young person unknown, and therefore, of course, utterly unworthy. How far these worthy ladies were right or wrong in their surmises, they who take the trouble to turn the following pages shall find out. End of chapter 1